Rockets.
5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Minus 1. Ja, oh, bra. Perfekt. Theoretically, we can dispatch one train every minute, but we don't. Tio, nio, åtta, sju, sex, fem, fyra, tre, två, ett, noll. Minus ett. Ja, bra. Perfekt. Now it's quite... You don't hear any music, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so quiet, yeah. so nice. Um, yeah, some of you said that's cool uh, queue area, yeah. and it's actually the old building for our 3D cinema that we used for uh, the station and uh, queue area. So after a couple of years, it wasn't so cool with 3D anymore. We built the 3D cinema in uh, around say 2000 uh, yeah in around 2000 2001 maxima it was cool uh, almost like an IMAX uh, theater it was just a little bit smaller so it was original this uh, analog uh, projectors too so it was really cool 3d effects and then we replaced it for a modern uh, digital one it wasn't so cool anymore uh, it was so big 3d effects uh, but then you had 3D in normal cinemas around the, yeah. uh, the theater, so uh, we couldn't have it here. It didn't didn't make any sense at all. So when we were thinking building a new coaster, we thought that yeah, we already have like an area we can build a station for. So what can we do with it? Yeah, let's do a maze. So we made a maze, and that's what you uh, walk through. And I'm a score made an incredible job with the music there, so when he's standing in line. And what about Helix? We have you seen anything on the internet on the developing of the Helix, what we tried to build in the first place and so? No? Mm -hmm. No, there are on YouTube. I think it's Evolution of Helix is called. You can search that mm -hmm. later. Um, we wanted a new coaster. So where can we uh, put it? I said, yeah, we have more room on the mountain, let's put it there. So we checked with different manufacturers, we checked with BM, we checked with Intamin, we checked with uh, Geschlauer and uh, Mac and so. And uh, Blue Fire was built in 2009 or so, so yeah. we, we had some people that were going there and said, wow, this is such a cool ride and the seats are amazing. So we chose Mac. And we wanted a mega coaster. So they designed a 84 meters high coaster that were like the, where the flume rod is. That was the mm. big flight. And they just go down, up, and the, on this side of the mountain, and then back. So it was almost the same uh, uh, meter, 1,300 meters or so. Mm. Uh, but the ride itself was a little bit shorter because you needed so much mm. of the little. It looks so cool. 
and uh, when Andreas begin at, began as a new CEO of Felicity Bear, he got the blueprints and the contracts and everything. And he looked at it and said, I can't sign this. It's something wrong. It doesn't feel right. Because when you saw it, it looked like you had a big, big, big coaster and a small park beneath it. So it was a great coaster, but not the best coaster choice for this bear. So we scratched that uh, concept and told Matt, yeah, we want it close to the ground, we want it fast, and we want some inversions. And uh, we want also launches. So they built this in Blueprints uh, multi-launch. And Helix did have some uh, differences in their design before we like chose this concept we have now uh, but the general thing was that we begin from this station here and use the mountain uh, for it so originally helix was planned for 2013 but because of uh, uh, the scrap of the original model uh, it became 2014 mm. instead but we are really, really happy that we choose to scrap that because this design has really become well for us. Yeah. I mean, we have kids that are just 130, they can ride it. Uh, it's fast, we're upside down, uh, and it's a long ride. Yeah. Yeah. And because you don't have any lift hill and so, you can use more of the track for a ride experience instead of just a waiting experience. Yeah.